night. Every night for the last six months I've been using one of these little cell testers to measure the voltage on each of the seven groups of this pack which has no BMS in order to watch it drift out of whack over time. I've been writing down all the numbers and I take these, feed them into a spreadsheet and with that we can make some nice graphs. Let's have a look. So I diligently fed all those cell voltages into this chart plus the date and time and initially I was doing that twice a day in the morning and at night. Um, eventually I got sick of doing it twice a day and I dropped down to just doing it once at night. Um, and from those group voltages I would derive in the spreadsheet the overall pack voltage and also the range from the highest group which in this case would be this this one here to the lowest group which would be this one here uh, and uh, I would go and highlight whenever it got over four volts because I was starting to get nervous um, and I did that for months and months. Uh, this is the data for the second power shelf. I've uh, got six months worth of data for the small blocks pack and then I've got another three months for the first power shelf. And from all that data I managed to produce the, this graph here. So what this shows is the blue line is the range from the the spread or the divergence from the highest group to the lowest group. The number of volts by which the um, highest group is different from the lowest group. And what I'm hoping to discover from this experiment is do the voltages, the groups, naturally spread and keep getting worse and worse and worse um, until something bad happens. Uh, that was kind of the, the scary scenario that I was wanting to, to find out. And the other thing I wanted to know is if they do s gradually spread apart over time, at what rate does that occur? The blue line is the first power shelf which I did not sort the cells in that pack um, very well. After about a month of watching it getting worse and worse, uh, I thought, um, bugger this, I'm going to resort the whole pack. It's a one kilowatt hour pack. I'm going to resort that and do the job properly. And the end result of that was that I got a much better, much smaller spread between the highest and lowest groups in the pack. So that's quite an impressive result. The orange line is the second power shelf collection. So I got a new collection of cells and sorted them using the repacker.com website and once again got quite a nice result from that, that sorting. This is for a 24p parallel pack, 24p7s. If you had 80 cells or 100 cells you're probably not going to bother doing the sort. But if you did bother to do the sort, you would probably get a better balance pack and less spread between the groups. The red line is the small block pack. So it started out being not particularly well sorted. And uh, this is kind of interesting because it gradually gets worse and worse and worse. And this is the point where I started to think, ooh, is it going to carry on getting worse and worse? But then... I didn't change anything, uh, it just naturally sort of settled at just under 0.2 volts spread between the highest and lowest groups. So that's kind of interesting. I pulled these cells out, built a whole new collection of small blocks and added those in parallel to this small blocks pack at this point here. This is where I added in parallel the second group this group of cells in parallel with this group made this new pack. 
this red line. So after adding these well balanced cells, it made this pack better balanced. So that's kind of an interesting result. The other thing that is happening here is the rises tend to correspond to, to periods when the pack voltage was high, when it was charging quite nicely and I didn't have much load on the system. And the lower points in both the orange and the, the red tend to correspond to times when the packs were down around the 26 volt range. Up here they're sort of 27 something volts uh, and 26 volts. So the spread, the range decreases as the pack voltage decreases. And I'll show you what I mean by that. This here is the plot of the pack voltage of the second power shelf one kilowatt hour pack versus the spread. So as the voltage goes up, as the voltage goes up to nearly 28 volts, which is the maximum that I had my solar charge controller set to, the spread increases, is more likely to increase. There's a definite trend there. It would have been interesting to see what would happen if I ran the pack a lot lower. Uh, I'm not sure I can be bothered keeping on monitoring the pack and writing down all these numbers. It's about time for me to throw a VMS, a balancing VMS on this and um, then work on other projects like putting in a, an Arduino monitoring system. Or... So that is an interesting finding. That's a pretty, I think that trend line is pretty clear that um, the, the higher the voltage, the more spread you get. Uh, so if you were someone who wanted to charge your your pack all the way up to 4.2 volts per per group, which would be a 29.4 volt pack voltage, um, you could expect there to be a lot more spread between the groups, and you're much more likely to find an individual group go over 4.2 volts. So that I think would be a bad idea. My advice would be don't go above 28 volts for the whole pack if you're doing a 7S pack like I am. Don't know what happens below 25 volts. So that is, that's the lesson from all that, that tedious data collection. One, it's worth not charging your, volt, your um, packs too high. And two, if you sort your packs, then you can expect them to be more balanced than if you sort them badly or don't sort them. So those are valuable things to learn. I hope this has been interesting for you. Thanks for watching and catch you next time. Oh, um, and for those who are interested, this is a graph of the seven groups from the power shelf over time. So you can see that one of the groups is sometimes drifting a little high. Everything else is kind of in the right ballpark, but it does come back into line when the voltage drops. So again, that's, that's indicating lower volts is, is better. The closer you get to four volts, the more spread you get.